craning in a large boat is always a slightly nerve-wracking procedure, even for the experts, although these guys do it day in, day out. Squeezing a very long boat, nearly 70 foot, onto the wharf at Norbury is not for faint hearts. The crane arrives first and parks itself outside Norbury's offices and then it's the gentle procedure of squeezing that long lorry, there's more than a hundred feet of it, alongside the crane so the vessel can be lifted off and gently eased into the water, avoiding all par cables and other obstructions of course. This vessel, in fact, belongs to one of Norbury's own staff, but that doesn't make it any less nerve-wracking. Norbury director David Ray takes the chains and hooks them up to the wire slings, which will be carefully positioned around the boat so that it balances exactly as it's lifted off the lorry. This is where the expertise comes in, of course. So the crane takes the strain. We get a first check as to whether they're correctly positioned. And we have liftoff. Boat inches up into the air. Whilst the staff hold on to the ropes at bow and stern, that are going to help position the boat as it squeezes into that very narrow space between the edge of the wharf and all the other vessels in the basin. Everything's sort of slow motion because you can't afford to make mistakes and as the boat comes round and levels up with the edge of the wharf we can see that it's just about going to fit. It doesn't really seem possible that those thin strands are supporting nearly 20 tonnes of steel, does it? And down we go, slowly, slowly, into the water and a large sigh of relief all round as it touches down. David's back on the roof of the boat removing the chains and slings, sliding them towards the bow where the crane can simply lift them away. And off they go. swinging gently in the breeze and there she is safely in water again of course it's almost every day but uh, I think everybody's quite relieved that it's over and done with <laughs>